Radiator and Little Radiator are both based on classic Altec tube devices from the 60s. Radiator is a faithful model of the Altec 1567A mixer, while Little Radiator is a clone of the smaller Altec 1566A amplifier. These Altec pieces were staples of Motown Studio A in its heyday, and lent the warmth and pleasing coloration from their tubes and transformers to countless hits from Motown's golden era. Radiator is based on the larger Altec 1567A tube mixer amp. With the exception of the plug-in's mix knob, which functions as a wet-dry control to allow for the convenience of parallel processing, Radiator faithfully recreates both the front panel and the internal signal path of one channel of the 1567A. The input and output knobs correspond to the mix and master knobs on the original. Like the original, Radiator has two saturation stages. Input controls the level of the signal feeding into the first tube stage. The signal then passes through the two-band EQ, the bass and treble controls. The output knob controls the level coming out of the EQ section, feeding into the second tube stage. You can dial up saturation at either stage, You can dial up saturation at either stage, or, for a more intense effect, with both stages cascading. If you do dial up larger boosts, you'll probably want to add a gain or trim plug-in after radiator to restore unity gain through the rest of the channel strip. The bass and treble EQ knobs provide simple, broad curves. As you can see from the graph, the bass curve goes from a smooth, wide boost to a more centered dip. The treble curve has even more variation, especially as you approach maximum cut. And remember, the EQ section feeds through the output knob into the second tube saturation stage, so cranking up the bass and treble controls will drive that stage harder at the high and low frequencies. This will give the EQ a subtly different character. The mic line switch also functions as a kind of tone control. In the hardware unit, there was a noticeably different frequency response between these two paths, as you can see from the graph, thanks to impedance differences in the original circuitry. This can make for an interesting and useful tonal variation. And remember, you can blend it with the original flat tonality via the mix knob. For those who want that nth degree of fidelity to the original, Sound Toys has even modeled the relatively high, at least by today's standards, noise floor of the original, right down to the different noise level for the mic and line paths.
Of course, if you don't want to go quite that far, this is switched off completely in the clean position. Even the meter is calibrated to match the original. Heat refers to the lovely extra warmth you can get from the virtual analog circuitry and radiator. Get it? Radiator? Heat? All right, moving on to Little Radiator. This is not just a simplified version of Radiator. It's modeled on a different Alltech hardware unit, the 1566A amplifier. The 1566A is a simpler affair, just a single channel mic preamp with no controls other than a gain knob and an on off switch. Just as in Radiator, Sound Toys has added a mix control for wet dry parallel processing and renamed the gain knob Heat in keeping with the theme of adding analog warmth, or heat, to the signal. Once again, they provide a noise simulation, and there's also a bias control, which offers the option of different saturation characteristics from different 1566A units. When it's on, you get a dirtier sound. With it off, you get the more subtle saturation of a well-maintained unit. So between Radiator, Devil Lock, and of course Decapitator, the Sound Toys 5 bundle really covers the bases when it comes to gain-based effects, with everything from subtle analog warmth to over-the-top distortion and compression. Next up, I'll move on to Sound Toys modeled pitch shifting and delay processors, starting with Little Alter Boy.